Well, hello and Merry Christmas. Pray that everything is going well for you today. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. Oh, I've come today to invite you once more to our Bible study tonight. Now, I'm especially excited about the word of the Lord tonight. I'm going to do something that I normally do not do. I'm going to give you my subject tonight that I will be teaching from. And my subject is simply this. I beg your pardon. Yes, I beg your pardon. Come out tonight and hear what the Lord has to say on this subject. You know, saints, uh, uh, the Lord has been blessing us. And, and, and I tell you, we're closing uh, 2019 strong. And uh, the Lord has moved. He's been blessing our Sunday services. He's been blessing the church, our Thursday night Bible studies. I thank God that I get to pastor the finest congregation in the body of Christ. And you know, saints, the truth is God is good and worthy to be praised. And I want to tell you, as I've said before, I'll say it again. The God of the Bible has not gotten out of the healing business. He still heals. He saves. He works miracles. Our God is alive and active. He's moving and he has a blessing with your name on it. Also, I want to take the time before we go off to invite you to join me this coming Saturday night. I get the privilege once more and again to do the Saturday night Sunday school of the National Church. Saturday night, Sunday school. I'm excited about it. Uh, on December the 14th, we're going to be a part of their, their podcast. Uh, there's, a, there's a number, an access code number that we have on the screen there that you can call. And also, those who are part of our Facebook page, you will actually be able to see yours truly uh, doing the Saturday night Sunday school. And I have a special guest who will be accompanying me on the Saturday night Sunday school. And we're going to teach the Sunday school lesson together. And it is going to be great. That's this, that's this coming Saturday night uh, at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Our time is 8 uh, uh, what is it, Gary? Nine o'clock? Nine, nine o'clock p.m. for Saturday night Sunday school. So there are just so many things going on, my friends. Uh, listen, I'm praying for you. I'm, and I know you're praying for me. I can feel your prayers. We're praying for our nation. We're praying that the God of the Bible has his way. We're praying for yet another move of God. And so many things going on. Listen, Next week, uh, I will, on this particular uh, medium, I will, will give you more of an update on what we're about to do for, uh, with regard to the end of the year, how we're closing 2019 strong, if it is the Lord's will, and we're going into 2020 strong, if it is the Lord's will, if he allows us to live and he delays his coming, you know, all that's up to God, you know. And if he does, I'm telling you, I'm excited about it. Now, I got a feeling that the Lord is going to let us live and that he's going to uh, uh, delay his coming. Uh, if for no other reason, uh, guess what? He has given me the theme for 2020. I am so excited about it. I want to tell you about it now, but I got to wait. And uh, now listen, he could give me the theme and still come back. Or yours truly may not be here. And if I'm not, I'll be somewhere around the throne. But if we all live and we come together on New Year's Eve, oh, there is a word from the Lord. And we're going to grab hold to what God has to say. My friends, I'm, I, I look forward to tonight. You know, in, in last Sunday's message, I, I said something that I want to say to you today. You know, the greatest question uh, that, that we should ask, uh, that's on the, that should be on the heart of every believer, is simply this. Why is there something rather than nothing? The scientists can't answer uh, that question. The philosophers can't answer. The secularists can't answer the question, why is there something opposed to nothing? The entertainer cannot answer that question. The answer, my friend, is found in the word of God. 
The God of the Bible decided that one day he would, that, that, that at some point, he would create a universe. And the Bible tells us that we were created by him and for him, and even that we were made for his pleasure. Well, now, that gives you life meaning, because if you know that we were created for his pleasure, then how do we learn uh, uh, what pleases God? What, how do we learn what to do? How do we please the one who created us, the one who decided that there would be something rather than nothing, that there would be a blue sky and white clouds and, and an earth and a planet and stars, you name it, you name it, you name it. He decided that these things would be. And he's a moral God. He's a mighty God. So how do we figure out how to please him, which means if you're pleasing him, then you're doing what you're placed here to do. And that means you're as happy as a lark. There is nothing like finding out what the will of the creator is and then walking in, in his will. So how do we find out? Simple. Bible study. <laughs> That's right. The answer is Bible study. Come and hear and read and study the word of God and you're going to be blessed. I love you. I'll see you tonight. Merry Christmas to you. And uh, join me. Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday school. It's going to be great. God bless.